starting with <coughs> Ole Miss Rebels, we have quarterback Matt Corral. So we will open it up to questions. Right here, Matt, on your left, second row. Hey, Matt, Jacques Doucet, WAFB-TV. Uh, quite the game between LSU and Ole Miss last year. Uh, what are your memories of that game and uh, the Tigers making the trip to Oxford this season? Uh, I remember it being very wet, being very wet and affecting the, the RPO action in the pass game. Uh, I remember we were uh, called a pass play, I want to say like three times. I remember just predetermined that I was going to run just because it was the ball was so wet and I couldn't, I just couldn't throw it. Um, and I, I think it's going to be a lot of good energy this upcoming season uh, in the vault, just um, in a very good game, definitely. Okay, to your right, second row. Hey, Matt, John Wilson with KBTX-TV and College Station. How different are things for you today than they were two years ago when you were here at Media Day? Uh, the attention, definitely. Um, you know, it's something I'm not used to. Uh, but, you know, slowly but surely I'm learning. I'm getting used to it. Uh, really just trying to fill this role that I know I could be. We'll go to your left on the third row. Hey, Matt. Uh, Nick Niehaus, WAPT-TV in Jackson, Mississippi. Seems like this offseason there's a whole different kind of buzz surrounding the offense and Ole Miss in general. Is that something you guys feel in the locker room, you feel around the offense or around the team? I mean, not only in myself, but I just feel like uh, the people around me have more confidence in themselves that, you know, they didn't have last year. Uh, you know, last year it was more of us not knowing what we have and us just going in there and trying our best to, all right, now we know what we have and now we have a standard and this is what's got to get done. We'll go to your right in the third row. Hey, Matt, Mike Lucas, KXTV and College Station. When you look across the SEC, you're one of the, you know, more highly talked about quarterbacks in the league, but how would you evaluate the level of quarterback play throughout the league, including yourself? Uh, you know, I feel like there's never a big drop off like people, some people would say there is. Um, I feel like the competition is good every year. I mean, we're Division One athletes. Uh, you know, it's not like we just got here just because um, we're all here for a reason. And, you know, the competition is at a high level. We'll go to your left on the front row. Anthony Patterson with the Atlanta Voice newspaper. Matt, of course, you're one of the highly touted quarterbacks coming back in the SEC uh, for good reasons at that, that. My question is, what expectations do you have on yourself this season that you know you definitely want to accomplish for sure? Um, winning. Uh, you know, I'm not really focused on myself. I'm focused on worrying about the team. Uh, you know, as long as I get, as long as I take care of what the team, the team's needs, you know, my wants, everybody else's wants, not only mine, but everybody else's are going to fall into place. We'll go to your right front row. Hey, Matt, kind of more of a fun question, but one thing I've noticed so far in SEC Media Week is swagger has been on point for just about any guy, coach, who's walked through the doors. Talk about... Uh, your shoes, most importantly, because I've noticed there's a, a sneaker suit trend been going on. And then who do you think has the best swagger in the SEC other than yourself? Oh, I, to that second question, I got to say Coach Kiffin. I got to say Coach Kiffin. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory if you just see what Ole Miss football posts, see what he posts. <laughs> but he's definitely a, uh, has a personality, and it's something that you know I'm a fan of. Um, and as for the shoes, um, you know, I, I got them like two years ago. I rarely wear them, so I thought I'd just, you know, bring them out. <laughs> Matt, to your left on the back row. Matt, Nick Niehaus, WABT in Jackson, Mississippi. Um, there's a lot of talk about how Coach Kiffin is one of the best, if not the best playmaker or play callers in the entire country. You're somebody who played at Ole Miss before him and now with him. In your own words, just what has he done to that offense? How, how has it changed? How dynamic has he personally made it? He knows how to spread the ball around, and he knows how to utilize the matchups around him. Uh, like last year, um, specifically against South Carolina, you know, J.C. Horn, a great corner, you know, drafted first round, I believe. Um, and he just had a way of putting Elijah in the, in the backfield, getting him on a linebacker, just creating a mismatch somehow, some way, and utilizing it. 
We'll go to your second row on the right. Matt, how excited are you that Saturdays may be normal again in 2021 and it, it can be full stadiums? I'm very excited. You know, I've, the, the walk of champion is something I missed. Uh, just that energy of, uh, you know, all of Ole Miss, Ole Miss uh, fans just, you know, showing us love on the way before our games. Uh, it's a feeling like it's a it's a feeling I can't explain unless you got to experience it when you're walking down there. It's it's different. It's different, definitely. Matt, to your left on the front row. Matt, um, a lot a lot of talk this week at SEC Media Days has been the cross division matchups eventually coming for all different teams. I was just wondering how excited for you just to be able to play within the SEC and play other division rivals. And second, can we expect this um, drip, per se, for the rest of the year when the season starts? Uh, could you repeat that first question? Um, the cross-division rivals for SEC teams, they're basically the talk is that you will be able to play more of those as, as the years and stuff go on. I was just wondering how excited are you just to possibly have the opportunity to do that? Uh, you know, just playing against SEC competition, it's one of the best. Um, I'm looking forward to it because you get to see how yourself matches up against the best in the country. And uh, me personally, I believe it's one step down from the NFL. Um, as, as SEC is just different. And I think a lot of people know that. And what was that second question? Yeah, the, uh, oh, yeah, the walk of champions, absolutely. Absolutely. We'll go to your right on the third row. Matt, going back, you played early on in your career. How difficult was it stepping into the SEC as a, as a freshman and getting those games reps? But looking forward now at the present, how beneficial were those reps to kind of turn into the quarterback you I mean, now? just making those mistakes early, I think. Just, um, you know, knowing what I know now, it, I, I think completely different. Uh, Kiffin and Lebby have completely changed my thought process of, you know, as a quarterback, really, and how I look at a defense just and like the way I prepare. So, I mean, you know, I didn't have that type of, say, leadership, not only as, not only, I'm, t I'm speaking of teammates around me. You know, I just, I wasn't big on going to work out with people, bringing people to film with me. And now it's like, I never do anything alone. Whenever I go into film, I got the, the I got the offense with me. Uh, whenever I go into extra work, I got, you know, I got always got somebody with me. And I think that was the big emphasis this off season. You know, don't, don't go in alone. You know, bring somebody along with you uh, just so you can grow in the team aspect. To your left on the second row. Matt, being a successful quarterback and kind of the face of the team, I would imagine you'd have a lot of name, image, and likeness opportunities. Where is the balance between, you know, making your money, making the most of the opportunities, and still, you know, this is a team game, jealousy, those kind of things that you have to watch out for? Uh, the NIL isn't something that uh, we're really big on. Uh, yeah, it's it's a good opportunity to make us money, uh, but it's you know we're still keeping the main thing the main thing. You know, the the uh, the goal is to win games. We don't really care about the money that the little pocket change that's happening right now. That's how you describe the pocket change. Uh, yeah, I mean the big money, the national deals. I mean, you see everybody across the country trying to get get whatever they can, uh, and you know I've taken a different approach to where, you know picking the right deals and not trying to burn a bridge with other deals before you even have that relationship. To your left on the back row. Hey, Matt, like yourself, Jerry on Ely is someone who's, it seems like in every graphic on Twitter is always ranked high, <laughs> you know, just like you, I said. Um, this could seem like an obvious question, but how nice is it to go into games having a running back that not only can run the ball like he can, but also he's a great pass catcher? I mean, Kids always had that raw athletic ability, and just to see him grow this offseason makes me even more comfortable. That kid is consistently in the building. That kid is consistently watching film, and I'm excited for him this year. I am. We have time for two questions. The first on your right, second row. Matt, Josh Kendall with The Athletic. What, what are y'all, your reaction and your teammates' reaction to Lane's being so out there on Twitter, um, his personality? Uh, Next question. <laughs> okay, we'll take the last one here, front row on your left. Uh, Matt, um, just as a quarterback, you're a triple threat. You can basically do it all. Um, 
And my question is, with your game, who is who? What quarterback or what player do you model your game after, or that you just took some things from? Aaron Rodgers, definitely. You know, I'm always watching that guy. He's just a gamer. I mean, that's that's something that was one of my role models ever since my, my freshman year of high school. Matt, thank you very much. Good job. Thank you, guys.